Well, actually, Haiti's revolution did not begin in 1791. It began the day the first white person went to Africa and began to kidnap people in Africa. They did not just sit down and let themselves be taken away. They fought. They fought all the way to the boat. They fought on the boat. They killed themselves throughout the trip. They killed themselves as they get off the boat or killed whoever was tying them up. So the fight began the day the aggression, the kidnapping, the slave mentality began to capture people. Now, and the fight went throughout, everywhere. It's not just IT. That's another false idea that IT did a revolution. But Jamaica fought a lot more than we did. Cuba has much more revolts than we did. But IT, the difference, IT succeeded. And that is what makes the difference. But all the islands in St. Thomas, three women freed St. Thomas in 1773, took it away from the Dutch for almost a year before they were recaptured with the help of France and British Army. The Dutch put the, the island back in, uh, into slavery and arrested the three women. But people don't know about that throughout Brazil. So the revolution is all over. It's not the Haitian revolution. The Haitian revolution is just one tip of the revolution against slavery that went throughout the world and received its first major success in Haiti. I would have to say in the last period, the last string of battles that began in 1492, we have to take three characters, three major people and their surrounding. We have to take, if we take the men, we'll have to take Bookman Duty, who's from Jamaica, whose mother was a great revolutionary woman, was a, a Muslim woman. And the reason he's called Book Mun, the man of the book, is because his holy Quran that he refused to give up when they sold him out here. So the slave uh, maker burnt the book on his skin. So he was all burnt up all in here, but the mark of the book stayed here. Why Book Mun? And since he was purchased by Mr. Duty, then his name began, be, became Book Mun Duty the men of the book of the duty. Now for us, nothing, there is no such thing as chance and hazard. So there is a reason why this man, who's going to come from Jamaica, grow up here, become from a Muslim to a Unga, participate actively in giving, uh, being the, uh, the, 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 what do you call, a tremplin, being what you jump over to push the last battle, if you want, to spring, to, to, to propulse, okay, the last battle. So this Bookman Beauty, what is he going to say to us? He's going to say to the Asian people, God who has created the sun, who governs the wind, the clouds, he is your father. And he demands that you put an end to this thing here. You must avenge the wrong that has been done to you. Now, we have no other word from Bookman but that one speech that he did on August 14, 1791. So this is the man who brought the word, the clarified word that must be materialized. Fine. And of course, with this, a whole string of fighting and activities begun towards the final march for freedom. Now we're going to go to step two. We're going to get to a man called François Dominique Breda, born so-called in slavery. But I say no, he was born out of slavery, but when purchased, as they usually do, they changed his name to François Dominique Breda. Fine. He is going to grow. As he began to come into himself, he gets rid of the François. And what is the meaning of the word Francois? Francois means that which belongs to, is relative to France and its people. He gets rid of Francois, we find him Dominique Breda. He continues to fight, he gets rid of Dominique, and we find him Dominique, which means born on a Sunday. And we find him Toussaint Breda. And he gets rid of Breda. As he comes to full knowledge of who he is and take his role as the one who opens the way and traces the road to independence, we find him to 
Toussaint, l'ouverture. Toussaint, the one who has the powers of all the saints, l'ouverture to open the way. So, as we step two, he does his job of opening the way and tracing the road. What do we find him doing in the last minutes, the last days of his existence here? We do not find Toussaint fighting to stay in power. We do not find Toussaint begging Leclerc to keep him here. We find Toussaint fighting so Dessalines will be named a divisionary general. We find him fighting for Christophe to have another rank. We find him fighting to place everybody where they should be. And his last word here in Gonaïve to his godfather, Pierre Simon Baptiste, when Pierre Simon Baptiste asked him, Toussaint, so you living, you leaving us here, to smile and say, don't worry, everybody's in their post. The victory is already there. And he stepped onto the boat. So then, Toussaint accomplishes his mission and goes. And then the next person steps on. It is what is called, what they call history, which we call our story, which is the story of all life forms on a particular space. So, the artistry is a string that goes on forever. There is no cutting this string. So, Toussaint does his work, and the next guy step up to lead the work of the people that are involved. People from Jamaica, people from Grenada, people from all over the islands have found ways to come in and participate. African Americans, from the United States have come here and fought in this battle over here. And, but all of this is sort of uh, obscured when you have these individual type situations. Women, Toussaint Louverture says to us, women represent more than a third of all, all fighting troops. Children are the first people to step on any battlefield. Where are they? in the his story that they gave us. We don't see them, but let's go on. The third step is when we get Jean-Jacques Dessalines as the leader. Now this is the person, again, when we take uh, all the stuff they say about him is really, well, but one of the things, the man speaks Yoruba. He makes a choice to have all his closest people Africans which as a very humorous person, he called his closest troops who are just come, recently arrived Africans. He called them the Polish, Polish troop. Why? Because he says, they speak Haitian as poorly as the Polish speak French. <laughs> so, this is the man who's going to structure the final blow. This man is born for this raised by a military woman, Agbaraya Toya, whose name as Tantoya, he calls Tantoya and everyone in that period called Tantoya. This is this military woman from Dahomey who raised him all along and reminded him throughout his life that his destiny is to bring liberty to this land and gave him the proper training in military and philosophy and spiritual and mysticism as well. So, when in this training this man is prepared, the time has arrived, he has been a perfect soldier under all those who came before him. He was an absolutely obedient lieutenant, captain, and colonel to Toussaint Louverture. He has received all his formal military functioning training and regulations from Toussaint. He does not do anything that Toussaint does not ask him to, that Toussaint does not order him to, until Toussaint is no longer there. Then it is evident to everyone there is no other person to replace Toussaint and take the lead of the people's movement, and that is this man, Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Now, spiritually, when we analyze, just like we analyze Toussaint, and in our own spiritual language, Toussaint is a legba in Vodun. By his name, by his functioning, by his physical appearance, by his speaking all the languages that he spoke, by everything he did, he is a pure living legba. 
And as we analyze Jean-Jacques Dessalines, he is an Ogun. Ogun is what? That is the principle that brings, once you've set up an objective, once the collectivity has established an objective, then Ogun bring this objective to quick materialization. That is his work. And this is the mission of this man, Jean-Jacques Dessalines. And that's what he does. He says, all right, so now we're not afraid to say the word independence. You guys are ready? He is going to use it one of the first time publicly on March 25th, 1802 in Creta Kiewo, when he tells the people, even if you see me submit myself to French domination and authority 100 times, know that 100 times 100, I shall betray them. I promise you, I will give you independence. March 1802. He puts out his word, and his word is bond, and bond is life, and he shall give his life before his word shall fail. So Jean-Jacques Dessalines take us to January 1st, 1804, Declaration of Independence. Declaration of Independence for the island of Haiti. Dessalines never spoke of a part of an island. The island of Haiti. Freedom for everywhere. When he made his security plan, plans for structures and fortresses to be built, he made them for the entire island. Everything he did, he did for the island. Okay? And he also told another very important thing. He says, today, we are celebrating one independence, military independence. All the other independence have yet to be conquered. He was very clear. Ogu always speak very frankly, differently from a Legba. Legba speaks in very symbolic term, and everyone can take them whichever way they are comfortable with them. But Ogu speak in very direct term. He's usually hated or loved. Henri Christophe, when he's going to take over after Dessalines death, then Christophe what is going to, his strength is that he picked up all of Dessalines' plans and executed them. Whereas in the West, uh, Pétion, who was president, who is the assassin of Jean-Jacques Dessalines, he uh, 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 smashed everything that he had started, that Dessalines started. And this is the man who believe in the French, who is begging a slaver while president of this country while talking about the black republic is begging a frenchman to recognize him as his son now this is the confused person who brings us to a the, the crossroad of where we are now that led to where we are now and that's the continuation of this sickness of wanting to be white, wanting to live out of yourself, out of your own nature. And it's going to be concretized by this thing is going to reach a, a, a higher level when this man is going to agree to pay France 150 million gold francs for an independence that we earned. Mm -hmm. The year 2004 is important for Aishan. For it is a mark. It is a time, as far as we are concerned, for remembering, going back and studying a victorious time in our lives. So we can pick up the principles of history, put them into structures, and so we can begin again to work as a victorious people. Uh, Jean-Jacques Dessalines himself said it, 1804. He said, look at what you did. He did not say, look at what I did. He said, look at what you did. He said, it's not the army's victory. It is your victory. For if you were not there for the army to hide, if you were not there to feed this army, if you were not there to bring him weapons, what would he have re re realized? Look at what you did. Clap for yourself. Yes, we have lost this. It's not written anywhere in no manual history manuals for the children. The children do not know 
what it is that they did in 1804. If I believe if one does not have a good understanding of what has happened in the past, then you are not equipped to build the future. I believe that if your knowledge of history is just bl blurbs, little bleeps about this president, that president, oh, this one was no good, that one was da 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 da, this one was a killer, then if that's your understanding of what is called history, then you cannot project the future. To project the future, there must be a profound analysis of what has happened and understand the whys of these various events. Then you are equipped. Because I believe our street is the, in studying our street, we, we capture a light from the past which shines on the road to the future.